Hi, it's Jess here from Nigeria Creates. Thank you for joining me today. So I have to do a little challenge this week over on Junk Journaling for Everyone. And I was sitting there thinking, what am I going to make this time? I'm trying to make little quick projects that sort of anybody can make out of anything that you might have. And um, so I've recently been making little envelopes. So I've made these for little swaps. And... Um, and I was saying in my video of making this, which you won't have seen yet, um, that little envelopes are really useful. Pop it in journals. Uh, or this nice for a little bit of Happy Mail's got a um, after eight in it. And I've also just done a crafty haul where I had this paper. So this is um, cigar paper. So it's made from tobacco leaves. Um, so it's uh, very... Um, environmentally friendly um, so it's used from a mixture of um, um, it's a hundred percent mixture of post consumer paper and the byproduct of t tobacco plantations in Central America so you've got little flecks there as well of like tobacco leaves and things so yeah got that thought I'm gonna use it so I ripped a page out straight away to use um, uh, as a page in a journal and realised that I'd already sewn the journal so I couldn't. So I thought this, let's make an envelope out of this. Envelopes can be really, really simple. If you've got an envelope punch board, you're sorted. Um, but if you haven't, then you can quite easily um, make one. So I thought first, off, actually, I'm not going to use a trimmer. I'm not going to use a trimmer. Let's do it if you're just beginning and you've got nothing. So I am going to fold this in half. I'm going to get a ruler and rip it. Because I think half a sheet will be fine for an envelope. I'm thinking that I'm going to have this as the flap. I think that would be quite interesting that the flap of the envelope has this sort of end on it. So folding that down, um, you can use like a loyalty card if you haven't got a phone folder. We've all got these, you get them through the post, don't you? And then I'm gonna fold this one up so that it goes above that flap, but not all the way to the top. There we go. Nice size envelope that. So that's it, three folds. And then we want to fold the side over. So I'm just folding in, eyeballing, not even thinking about how much that is. It's about a centimetre, half an inch-ish. Do similar on the other side. There we go. And uh, that is... What, what, what so that is the final size of our envelope so we want to cut so we want this this is the fold up flap we want that for sticking down so we want to get rid of these two side bits so you i'm going to rip i imagine most crafters will have a pair of scissors but there we go i'm just going to rip down Just gonna rip this end off there. Got a few stray bits there. Pull them off. There we go. So there, minimal tools. I'm going. I'm going on a long haul flight, and I was thinking about what I could, what I could do. So I was like, won't be able to take a pair of scissors on the flight. To be fair, I'm not even sure I could take a metal ruler because that could potentially be weaponized couldn't it um i could take a plastic ruler i thought there we go and i quite like the fact we've got a little bit of a rough edge there so i like to ink you don't have to ink but i do like to ink i'm going to use early espresso on this because i think it needs to be dark because that is not far off the colour of soft suede. So 
you ain't going to see that, so I'm going to go over it. But yeah, I'm just doing this before I before I uh, stick it down. I like to do the inside as well. Do down the side bits because I've made them rough. If you're a neat freak, then by all means, cut. I'm not a neat freak. If you've ever seen my before, my before and after <laughs> video on my craft room, you'll know I'm not a neat freak. And that was in the summer, so it's got a bit messy since. I'm really bad at keeping it up. It does not bother me. I am planning a great big overhaul in my craft room. My son just looked at me and went, Mum, that's a really big job. I went, yeah, I know. He said, I'll help you. Yep, right answer, son. Right answer. There we go. So there's that. So now we need some glue. Lots of people use glue stick. I don't trust glue stick for this sort of thing, but you could. But I use colour glue, buy it by the litre and decant it into little bottles. I decant into my sugar bell, colour, that's what it's called. And then from my sugar bell, I put it in one of these. I keep my sugar bell for when I've got bigger areas. You know to glue so there we go that that's an envelope simple as i like the roughy bits of it there you go i think that makes a very interesting envelope that can be so if this was a page on your journal you can put it on the edge so Roxy recently in one of her challenges or was it last year I don't know so you could glue that down there and have that as a pocket although I would neaten the edges if I was doing that and then in the on the other side that could flip out so you've got a little pocket there and uh, whatever so it could be a flip you could stick it on a page and you could glue down three sides so you have a pocket behind open it up and a pocket there um, you could just put it over the page and put a paper clip on to hold it in place um, or you could just pop it in a pocket so envelopes very useful for, and you can put journaling cards or whatever in them so nice quick easy way of making an envelope um, if you don't want it to look like that and you're a bit of a neat freak then you can not use your ruler you can use a trimmer and things so let's see what one would look like if you wanted it to look neater so i will cut that edge off I cut that in such a way is I can use that I like it so we have got you want measurements that's like five and a half inches so i am gonna score half an inch down each side i've got the sort of trimmer that's got a scorer as well there we go didn't press too hard because it's quite thin paper so then we can that burnish yeah. and then we can go on the flap so that's one and a half inches to there I think that's a good size flap so we'll do one and a half inches so that's our our flap to go down So then I don't measure for coming up. It's got to be, it's 
got to go above that flap. So I'll go about there. That is giving us a three and a half inch deep envelope. That should be roughly not far off, almost exactly the same with me eyeballing it. So, and then we use a pair of scissors. We want to keep this bit here, the foldy up bits, side bits. We want to keep them. So, I'm just going to notch in there. We'll notch at the end there. That just keeps it neater. And then we'll cut up that fold line. Do it again. Notch at the bottom there, notch at the top. And then cut up. Cut up that fold line. ready to get folded in. You might want to come in and neaten if there's bits like that where you haven't. And then you can always round the corners. If you're going to round the corners, I would doubly make sure that that is straight. So then I come in with a corner rounder. just so it looks a bit prettier. And again, do a little bit of inking. And that is how you make a neater one. And I say some people like neat. So I could imagine some people would be having issues with a scrappy one. But I like it. And then, like before, I'm just going to put glue down these two bits. And that's that's a nice, you can see the glue strings there. There we go. That is another envelope so that's the scrappy dappy do one and a, a nice sort of neat one so that is one way of really quickly making an envelope nothing taxing or too difficult about that at all no envelope punch board no real measuring just doing so here we are, I've got a bit of ledger paper, so I can do the same thing with this. That would make quite a nice envelope. I think that would look nice on a flat. So if you've got school boards, you can do it with a school board as well. So we have an envelope there that's, that's seven and a quarter inches wide. Um, so that would make it six and a quarter inches wide, which is quite big. I might just chop a bit off this, chop it down, and chop it down to five, and then I've still got a decent, a decent scrap there that would go on a tag. So there we go. I think that's better. So. I am going to score um, half an inch. You could go less. You don't have to do half. But I think that's quite a nice sort of measure for a, for a turnover. 
when you when you want it to last quite a while. So, so we've now got a four inch wide. Now I want this to be the flap. So that is dictating there that that goes um, down there. So not really measuring, just going just like that as the flap. So now I'm going to fold this up to probably that line there. And that's going to give me the depth. Again, it's another sort of three and a half inch deep envelope. It's just working out that way. And you'd do the same if it was music paper, encyclopedia, book page, whatever you were using really. This is quite thick. This is a vintage um, ledger. I think 19, I've got two of them. One of them, the entry, the first entry is 1901 and the other one was 1890 something. So, so it's like 123, 24 years. I suddenly thought then I was cutting up the wrong bit, but I'm not. That's the flap. So let's cut these off. Cut that off there. Go up that line. these scraps of they will look nice so there we are I'm going to round around the edges and that's another Another envelope. Um, I'm going to ink that. Now I've been using a darker colour on this. Let me just rub off because it didn't. I didn't get out a different different daub when I changed it. So going back to my normal soft suede there might still be a little bit of the darkness coming out but it's okay and you can see how changing what you use to make the envelope changes the whole the whole look of it And you can you can make it in different sizes. And then once you've got them, and there's the fun of decorating. So I will do some quick decorating. it down in place and that'll be another envelope done so new paper very old ledger paper I might I can see a bit of music vintage music paper just staring at me so 
there's there's another one managed to make it again very similar size to to that so let's let's do oh i've got an edith holden <gasps> got an edith holden there got some horses on the back so you can so if you've got something like that with a picture so that would look nice on that section so what i'm gonna do so we're looking at that being a half inch score yeah so we come over this side we've got horse's nose there so we'll come over another half an inch so we'll go five and a half inches on that one i think that's cool we need to change the blade look how fluffy that is we need a new blade jess we need a new blade i'll get that changed before the weekend so scoring there half an inch scoring there at half an inch and then that's going to be me flap and apart from those words there i'll put something there to cover it up that is not bad i might do a two inch flap so it's quite a long a long bit there so then this is going to come up there I'll go over that by about that much yeah so we've got that on the back yeah loving it nice scrap for something else so i'm going to get my bone folder Quite important to get that right otherwise it's gonna so this is the foldy up bit so these are the bits we're keeping so I'm just gonna slit in there slit down there establish that first you're not going to cut the wrong bit so we're keeping those bits cut up where that crease is. Cut up that one. There we go. That's uh, another envelope. And so we're going to round the corners again that always looks better bit of inking and there that's uh, another envelope right so I'm just going to break for my lunch and then I'll come back and finish off here we go so i'm back again so that was as far as we got with that i think that's quite cute so that's ready for decorating so shall i do i can see music paper it's quite thin music paper um i'm just wondering i could make it Envelopes are quite thin. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to... I'm 
I'm going to do what I did before, cut it in half and because uh, otherwise it's too big. I love the colour of this one, this music paper. Uh, I'll take that off and I can use either. Get some nice little scraps. So, I'm not going to score the music paper because it's quite thin and I think it will be quite easy to go through it. That does not look straight. What I might do is fold that edge down. That's something that Rachel from Watchy Creations often does to um, give the edge a bit of a bit of extra strength. Definitely looks a bit ski with there, Jess. And then that will be that will be our flap coming down. I'm not gonna fold the edge over of the flap because I'll probably stick something on that. Right, so that's that. So we're gonna let's get a little pair of scissors here at the top. So what I'm going to do cut that there. Not that I can actually see just there. So just so that that can be glued down as the top the top of the pocket bit of the envelope just to give it a little bit of strength if it's going to be used for things going in and out of it just gives that edge just a bit more just a bit more about it so now we can treat it as though it was I can't see that crease very well I love music paper. My son always cringes. Calls me a book destroyer anyway, but when it comes to music, because he's a, he plays lots of instruments. It just, thinks it's a bit, a bit sacrilege, really. Cute. Love it. That does not look very straight. Uh, let me yeah, I think that's better. I think right. Let's uh around this corner. I'm going to, fingers crossed it works. When it's quite thin paper, as this is, oh, it worked. I say it sometimes gets chewed up. Yeah, that one's working. Movie, movie, movie. Right. So let's do the same. Right, that top edge is a little bit ripped. So we will... They will fold over and then it don't matter. Make that top edge. Right, I'm getting messages left, right and centre. There. So 
that's not very straight, Jess. I'm reckoning this line can't be straight, which is where my problems stem in from, which is why I had a problem on the last one, and I'm encountering problems on this one. So I'm going to go side here, I'll make this one a little bit bigger, because I can. All right, let's get that edge. That edge there might have been off out of shot there. Right, you can kind of see there, but follow the line of that music. And that, that is it straight. There we go. So we'll have flap. there yeah they're all ending up about the same oh no that's my that is quite considerably bigger Jess actually quite a lot bigger just keeping an eye to the time um, I think I was on about 25 minutes before I went for my lunch. I had a flatbread and falafel with, I don't know why I did that. Um, I had some tzatziki and some hummus and some tomatoes and olives. Very lovely. We've got a like a well, we've got loads of international supermarkets near us to be fair. So it was like genuine flatbreads. And uh proper falafel and um yeah yeah that's so that's the folding oh no i did need to do that right so folding that in there yeah so it was right nice i do like falafel and hummus off of having a wrap but we bought this flatbread so you like dry fry it in a frying pan sort of to heat it through oh, it's lovely we had a oh i had leftover cheese pies as well so it sells like cheese pies from like greek cheese pies oh, which i love so we had that for tea last night and there was a just a little portion left over so i had that as well Oh, don't you just love the colour of that? It's amazing the difference. Love it. Yeah, and we've got homemade pesto. Pasta for two. That's the small one, Jez. I don't want the smaller one. I want the bigger one. Yeah, so proper international cuisine. I could eat Italian food all the time, to be fair. There, nice. Well, I'm looking forward to my holiday. Not quite sure what I'll be eating. I know my sister and I'll be cooking up a few things. I've stuck that down before I've inked it. Did you notice? Oh, 
There we go. I think I've got away with it. Right, now I'm deciding. I was going to do what I've done on the encyclopedia page, but... But I don't think I'm going to have time to just rise the other... The other one's not... Um, not been stuck yet. There. I do love that. I do love it a lot. I think it was worth folding that bit open over, I mean. So that's uh so if I was doing like what ooh, like Roxy does, she does she does like 45 minutes. So I've done about 35 now. I haven't decorated anything. I did want to try. Encyclopedia, but it'll be fine. There. So that needs glue in and then I should have time then to decorate. And as it's an envelope, I'm always like I always think, oh, I wanna I wanna do it in like a postal theme. Stick a stamp on. So I've got one, two, three, four, done six. Is that a mass make? I've just seen actually at lunchtime that there's a mass make challenge over in Foxy Crafters for March. But I'm doing this for, I'll do something else for that. This is for Junk Drilling for Everyone Challenge. So I do a little bit of decorating. So these sides, well, that one, it's already got a picture on, isn't it? So we could pick out a stamp for each of these to start off with. We could have a stamp in the corner. I have oodles of stamps. Now, let me get my wallet out. So I've got this these were sent to me in happy mail and um, i decided to um, sort them out in two different colors which is quite handy so like for that one i was thinking something brownie would be nice um, and then the others can be whatever i fancy whatever i fancy I like those so I've got lots of stamps that were from all over the world. Um, I just thought this was an easier way of doing it. I'm going to make myself an ephemera holder for these sort of things. I've got a partial one. Oh, they're cool. Washington Five Cents ones. I like them. Stick one of them on like that. I might use a different colour on each of them. I've got that. Let's get a brown one out for that. I'm going to see if I can mass, mass decorate if I mass make. See if I can mass decorate. Although to be fair, part of sort of mass making is to um, have them ready to use on something. Mm, don't like that colour. Um, and then you sort of decorate it to match whatever it is. That colour. Oh, 
That's a good colour. It's from the Netherlands. There, I like that one. Um, that's too samey, isn't it? I quite like it. Um, oh. Put her on. Don't want it. Don't want them to, to have the same stamps. Um, what was I just about to say? Mass decorate. Yeah, no, it's like, it's, so leave them only partially decorated so that you can decorate them to match the theme of whatever it is that you're that you're doing cut these for like proper in your face American what's that one oh you're cutie have you? Yeah, one of you. Right, let's pick one more then. Shall we go for a completely different colour now? Green. Should have a green one. Oh, there's those brown ones there. Let's have a green one. There's Barbados. I'm going. I'm going closer to Barbados than I am now. Going to a little island called Turks and Caicos. So I am very excited. I've just been in my dinner break. Just been looking up. Well, I was looking up. Oh, I missed one. I was looking up what duty free, what duty free I can buy um, and take with me. Um, so I like my priorities. Yeah. So Ed and I can get a liter of spirit each when we leave JFK to fly out. Do you know? I think I'm going to go for something really tropical looking. Look at that. Really turquoisey. It looks like Bermuda Bay to be fair. Um, colour. Gonna grab that. Gonna have that. Because that was the colour of the sea in some of the pictures. Oh, just looks beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I'm sitting here in a woolly hat, freezing. So I am looking forward to 30 degrees. There we go. So, yeah, I'm going to stick them down. I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit to that. And some of them, you can see post marks on them, but I'm going to add. So there we have got our stamps. So they need, I'm going to get some stamps out. Right, so I've got my stamps out. So I have this little package here that's got like unbranded stamps on. So I've packed a few of these up and that one there as well. So I've got them sort of ready to go. All there mounted. And um, I might do, let's do a nice dark ink. So we'll have um, most of these. I've got like the USA on them, right? So we'll do that one. Let's do that one. From Washington Duck, as we say in our ads. 
Now I like this, this is like it's been special delivery there that required a special little one of them. And we'll have one of them on there as well. Love it. Got some air mail. Put a bit of air mail across there because you'll see that there. These aren't the best quality stamps, and when they're like these are silicon as opposed to photopolymer, that actually they stamp better if you've got a stamp mat underneath them. So this one because it's full on. There, see it stamps much better with a stamp mat. I like that. I might put that on there as well. Yeah. Like it, like it. What else might I do? So he hasn't got anything over and neither's that one or that one. Um Stick a postage page. Look at your jazz. Cool. She's fully covered. Look. Love it. You can have one of them. Uh, da, da, da. You can have one and all. You've already got a round thing. I might just put, I don't want my entire stamp mat covered in ink. I just want you to have the little wiggly bits. Oh, you've got none. There you go. You can have that. That's it. So there's that bit. So I always also like a little bit of um a message uh but not a mess uh, like like an address um it's being put on it so i like something that's a little bit sort of handwriting um so i'm gonna find a stamp for that okay so i've dug out my um sample stamps so this one's got an address on it perfect this one's got um this like bit of ledger which if i partially stamp will look like an address so i'm going to stamp in a different color so let's do that one There we go. So it's got a stamp for the Netherlands. It's got a postmark from Washington, D.C. Um, and it's got a Paris address. <laughs> That's great. Great, great, great. Love it. Um, not really going to show up on that, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to just going to stamp ink rather that bit. That bit up and I'm gonna just push down partially brilliant that's exactly what I wanted on that one so I'll we'll do the same on here we'll go down a bit so we'll pick up a bit of it further down yeah, fabulous. So those three are done. So what we're going to do on these, um, I'm going to change the colour on that one because it needs to be darker to show up. So we'll go back to our early espresso and you can 
You're going to be coming from Paris. There we go. Yep. So, we'll do these two. I can see better that way, Jess. Have some sense. There we go. So, we'll have... I'll just press down at the top there. Gorgeous. And then we'll have a bit of the envelope there that's quite blank. Yeah, might put some more over there as well. It's a bit lighter. Love it. So that's, so I'm quite liking the way those sides are decorated. They look like, well, these three particularly look like they might be real envelopes. Obviously with these ones made out of different paper, they're a bit different. So then we've got the back. Now this one in particular, I want the flap um, decorating because um, because I can see that writing there and so I want that covering up I've got some of my some of my scraps that I've that I've pulled off so I could make a wee bit of a cluster there so we've got a bit of music paper there yeah, I was trying to keep a bit of that treble clef because I do like to see that. There we go, that can go across like so. Like in that. And I've got other clusters actually that um, that are like ready-made that I could bring in and use. I do love this cigar paper. Dead nice, dead unusual. Love the colour of it. Stick that across there. So that's covering that up very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Then I can add whatever I want to it. Now I've got, I've got clusters and I've got unfinished ephemera. Oh, I opened that up and then dropped one. That was good, Jess. Oh, I like that. So something like that, that could stick there and then that could hold it in place. So if you wanted like closures on it, um, you could you could do something like that. That's quite nice. I like that colour next to that. So that, those are my latest, so now I've got some, they're the, they're the wrong size really. I love those two. Well, that's quite nice because then that's, that's a good size because um, I can, uh, it can be closed, can't it? Quite good colour. Mm. 
No, 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 no. What have I got? What have I got in here? Oh, I've got all those piano rolls and that. Oh, nice little ticket things. They're quite cool as well, aren't they? That could that could go up there for that. That could go on there, maybe. Just conscious of the time now. Right. So I am conscious of the time and I'm conscious of the fact that it wasn't actually my intention to necessarily fully decorate anyway I'm like I'm loving these two together so they're going on and I don't want to over decorate because I think maybe leaving the back side to be decorated later might be a bad idea because then it can match whatever it's going in oh kind of goes with the color on the other side like that and then for balance that can go on there love it that works um, I quite like that been in there ages this from a video when I used it's a book I've got that's got the sort of prints that you find on the bottom of a, although I quite like that actually. It's a bit nature. Mm, yeah, I might do that one instead. Um, yeah, like pottery in that. It's a great find. Unusual. Put that down there. And then if we put that on there, it kind of matches. And I'm just noticing in here. There's that. Let's stick that down as well. That's my piano roll that I was playing with. Stick that there. Stick that there. Yeah, liking that. And then I like that on there. And put other things on there just just to start it off as i pulled it out i don't want to forget that that's to go on there right calling that a day because 
I want to save some of these so that they can be used and decorated as and when I need them. So I've got three blanks, one with just one thing on and two complete. That's not bad. Been about an hour. Ah, easy peasy envelopes. So that's my challenge over in Junk Journaling for everyone. I do hope you join in. And um, we have hashtag JJ for E weekly challenge. And um, yeah, go and check, get it, get it shared. And um, let's see you all making some easy peasy envelopes without an envelope punch board. Okay. Bye for now. I'll have um, close-ups over on nigesa.co.uk so you can check them out. Bye for now.